What's a mook? A mook? What's a mook? I don't know. What's a mook? Yeah, it, 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 I guess it just seems like um, in this day and age, if you're usually going to get a gothic horror movie, it's going to be some sort of a retelling of one of the classic gothic horrors where it'll be like a, a Dracula or a Frankenstein right. um, kind of story. And in those cases, like a lot of times, like just the default, they'll be like, OK, yeah, well, we'll make it gothic because, you know, that's kind of the original setting. But yeah, it'd just be nice to see like <clears throat> some more original gothic stories that just kind of have a completely different... Um, you know, premise. That, yeah, yeah, definitely. That aren't just pulling from what's been done before. Yeah. Yeah, I'd love to see more of that. Yeah, one of the... I, <laughs> I guess I wrote down a number of Tim Burton things because we've got, like, Sleepy Hollow on the list, which we talked about in our slasher episode a little bit. Um, But let's maybe uh talk also about uh Sweeney Todd because Tim Burton is obviously a guy who, like, loves his gothic sensibilities i mean that's very much his style in terms of a lot of the things that he's done with the corpse bride and his art style uh art direction so he did sweeney todd he did sleepy hollow uh dark shadows sweeney todd is like one of my favorite tim burton movies oh really and yeah 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 i don't know how you feel about it but like so obviously okay it's a musical it's a bit of comedy it's a uh, horror slasher, you might even say, but again, love the setting, love the aesthetic, love the the production design and everything, but I really love the music as well. Like, I'm actually a big fan of the musical and the songs and stuff. You've seen it, right? Yeah, I've, um, I hope I've seen the entire thing. I think it's one of those things where, like, I watch the movie, like, in chunks, and then I yeah. feel like I eventually decided to just be like, I'm going to just sit down and watch the whole thing. I guess I have more mixed feelings about it. Um, it's a shame because it's like, it kind of was this movie that kind of came out in a period where a lot of other Tim Burton movies just didn't seem very impressive to me. And so when Sweeney Todd came around, I was kind of like, oh, this is kind of like coming back to form. Mm -hmm. Like the thing I like most about Sweeney Todd is the look. Like that's yeah, where yeah. I'm just like, oh yeah, like this really is, uh, aesthetically, this is definitely one of Tim Burton's most gothic movies but I guess maybe the place where you and me will disagree is that the thing that I probably am like the least fan of about the movie is the musical stuff <laughs> maybe that's cause like I'm, I'm kind of a hard critic in general when it comes to musicals Sweeney Todd the demon barber of Fleet Street the new Stephen Sondheim Harold Prince musical thriller starring Angela Lansbury it was a famous musical for a really long time. Uh, I don't know when it first became a musical because it was originally not it was a musical. In the 70s. Oh, oh, oh. Well, oh, it was originally, what? I think it was always a play, but it was originally like a non musical play. You might be right about it, that. It kind of became like a little shop of horrors thing where they were like, oh, it's so dark. What if we kind of made it into a musical yeah. to make it a little bit uh, easier? Well, same with like Phantom of the Opera, right? Where that's yeah. taken this evolution. And it's like, obviously, it's probably become best known as the Andrew Lloyd Webber musical. Right. But uh, that wasn't like the origins of it. And uh, Frick, I remember Black Sunday. Oh, so we did Black Sabbath. We did Black Sabbath. And then there's Black Sunday. It's just really important to the gothic horror genre. It's kind of like he took... It's a black and white movie. And it's like he took the style of the old classic 1930s Universal <laughs> horror movies and just kind of like cranked that style to 11. It's just like the ultimate classic Universal horror movie. That just happens to be like an Italian movie. And the movie, I believe, I'm pretty sure it's in English, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, this movie was a huge inspiration on Tim Burton, like just in general, like on his career. Like he was a big fan of this movie growing up, and it was almost uh, Sleepy Hollow in particular is uh, takes a lot from the look and style of like Black Sabbath. Of oh, Black and, Sunday. Oh, sorry, Black Sunday, yeah. Yeah, if you guys really like the old, um, the, just the old classic... Universal movies or even just the really kind of like Tim Burton kind of stuff. Black Sunday is like, yeah, just like one of the most kind of stylistic of those kind of uh, movies. Well, my number four is Sleepy Hollow. Nice. 
<laughs> that's my number three. So well, see, uh, see, look, my my three and four are Sweeney Todd and Sleepy Hollow. Yeah, yeah. And th- th- it's it's really hard for me to actually decide between these two which I like more. Mm. Um, because I really love them both. I don't know. I ended up just being like, fuck it. One's yeah. three, one's four. Just decide. Like, yeah, yeah. They, they could easily swap places. You know. Yeah, maybe Sleepy Hollow because it was so important to me as a child should be higher. Yeah. Well, for me, I mean, definitely a team sleep. Uh, Sweeney sleepy Todd's probably hollow. not even on your list. Uh, no, but it's, it's like, <laughs> it's in like the linear notes. Uh, I, I definitely made note of it, uh, yeah. with some of the other ones that didn't quite make it. But, um, <clears throat> so I was just kind of like, Oh, like I'm going to like sleepy hollow will kind of be like my, my pick yeah, for, okay. um, for, for, for that sort of a thing. Just cause it's yeah. just, I just find it so gothic <laughs> it's so gothic in all the right ways like yeah. it's it's definitely not my favorite tim burton movie but Small it's it's little village town but yeah it's just and that's another movie that i had the soundtrack to and i was using mm-hmm. the music in a lot of my little short movies oh when I was a man kid. the music is so freaking great yeah in that. It's one yeah. of the, it's one of those like movies where I'm like I'm assuming it's almost all in studio, but some of those outdoor scenes. Oh well, they built like a whole. It town, really looks hey? real, like yeah, no, they, it really, they did. They, so that they, was outdoors. Some like of it. A big, they like built like a big town set. Basically, yeah, because I was gonna say thing. like it, it just looked elaborate. too good. That looked too good to be yeah. um, some interior studio. Yeah, no, it was awesome. But, um, it was like quite the production. Yeah. Um, and again, you know, you want to talk about like fog and mist and stuff. And just yeah. having that. But although there was a lot of like stuff in the woods that was in studio too. Mm-hmm, yeah. Um, I almost feel like I almost would have been okay if they even, if Tim Burton even made like a sequel or two to it. Like that's how much I love that world. Yeah. Where I've been like, oh, let me see like the further adventures of Christopher Walken and his headless horseman. Yeah, right. right. If, uh, even if just Tim Burton just kind of did other stuff at that level of, of gothicness, I guess mm-hmm. he kind of did, but, um, I don't know for me, that was like just the one that he really got right as far as, um, well, as far as just going like full blown gothic. It was such a perfect pairing of source material with the director, you know? Yeah. Um, but yeah, so that's my number four. Could easily be number three. And I don't know what it is with these gothic movies that I almost seem to enjoy the nice, pretty moments in these gothic movies just as much as the dark stuff. Oh, like yeah. I love the flashbacks <clears throat> when he's young Ichabod and he's, yeah, for he's sure. with his mom and, you know, she's doing well, little witchy stuff. Yeah, and, and, uh, that, and that contrast of things going on actually makes like one stand out and be effective in the in contrast to what everything else is like. Yeah. Know? So, and I mean, Sweeney Todd has a bunch of that too where, again, they have kind of this fantasy of... Uh, Sweeney and Mrs. Lovitz going and living on the beach and stuff. Yeah. Uh, or some flashbacks to when he was like living his his life with his uh, with his child and wife. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, I mean, it makes it more effective in when you create that contrast. Yeah. So anyway. Not Sweeney. Not Sweeney Todd. The demons are real fleets. Streets. Ha <laughs> <laughs>